Okay, guys, so right down in here is where we had a 3.30 set up in a run. And I showed you guys this set the very first day I put these traps in, which was, I want to say, three or four days ago, something like that. And we had a miss here like the second day. And I reset the trap. And today, we got a nice big fat beaver. So we're going to get this guy off of here and reset this trap. And I want to show you, I bought some H stands for these 330s that make it a lot easier to set these traps if you've got conveyance, a sled or something like that to pull trap stands around with. And for doing nuisance work and things like that, damage control work, I thought they'd make it a lot easier for me and my son-in-law who's working with me. So let me get this guy out of the trap and then we'll talk about this setup and how to use these H stands. Okay, so we'll walk back out here. We had one of our stabilizer sticks was still left in the run there. Get it out of the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our 330, get this thing back into configuration again. We've got our safety latches on. And we're set there, okay? Now, one thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that this trap is always lashed down to something. And I have a wire wrapped around this log. I just got to figure out where it's at. It's right here. That I had around this trap to begin with. And the other thing you're going to want to do, especially if you're in an area where you have a lot of moving water, or deep water for that matter, is you're going to want to make sure that your trap is also attached to this H stand. And this H stand, what it does is it allows you to just drop this trap over the top of it, just like this, basically. Get this spring off of here. Now, when I look at that, what I'm seeing is that my triggers are kind of bent out. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. My triggers are bent outward out here. I don't really want them like that. I want them things in the trap. So I'm going to go ahead, while my safety springs are still on here, I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing off of here. And I'm going to adjust that. So I'm going to turn it right side up, make sure my safety springs, safety latches are on. Grab a hold of this thing and I'm going to bend these wires back where they came from and a lot of guys use a lot of different configurations with these with these wires I don't worry too much about it um, they seem to hit it no matter where they're at but I do want them kind of inside the trap so that at least when that animal gets in there he's in the trap when he trips it so now we're going to go back to this H stand. I put it in the wrong, wrong way that time. And it sets right down at the bottom. You can see it kind of sets right at the bottom of that stand. And you can run your springs straight up if you want to like this. Take your safety catches off. At that point, make sure both of them are unlatched and out of the way. And that makes it real easy to just take a, a trap like this, walk out and find the deepest part of that run, which is right here, which is where those beaver are running, and get that thing straight down to the bottom where them beaver are gonna go right through it because that's what's gonna happen. Those beaver are gonna go right through the deepest part of that run. And then you can just attach that together like that. And then what I would say is I would wire this trap stand, especially if you're working in deep water, if you're working in flowing water, I would take another piece of wire and I would 
wrap it around the stand itself, just like this, and either wire it to the trap spring, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna come down here and wire it to this trap spring. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit. I'll wire it to this trap spring. That way they're connected. And when one comes off, the other one's still gonna be there, then I'm gonna be okay with that. That way I'm not gonna lose any of my trap components. And it's a real simple set that way. It only takes just a minute to do it. I don't have to go find sticks. I don't have to chop anything. I don't have to cut anything. It's just walk in, find the deep area of the run, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, done deal. And you can set, you know, if you can carry that stuff in a sled, you can set six, eight, ten of those in an area where you got a lot of beaver in probably half an hour, 40 minutes. I come up here to this dam break set, and uh, lo and behold, I <laughs> got a little muskrat in a number four double long spring up here. So we'll take care of him, do a reset here as well. <laughs> 